guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I have this super easy spring kind of inspired makeup look I kind of used some new products some products that I already had some products that are just my favorite you know I basically just use whatever was available to me but two new products for so like I was saying Two new products that I'm super excited, I was super excited to try out in this video. One of them is the Lancome um, Cushion Foundation. I have been hearing about this all over the place. I remember when it first came out, I was like, that looks amazing. I have to try it, I have to get my hands on it. And of course, I didn't get my hands on it for a good little while. So here I am finally trying this out. And I have to be honest, it feels like I have nothing on my skin right now. I mean, other than mascara that I'm wearing, because I can feel this mascara. But um, for my face wise, it feels like it feels like nothing. It feels like skin, and that's kind of what I love about it. Um, I will give you guys, I will keep you guys updated. I will link down below how long it lasted. You know, give you a nice little review because right now this is just a first impression. Like this is just me wearing it for about maybe like 40 minutes. Um, but I do, if you want to say I love it. Gotta give it to Lancome. This is this is amazing. This does live up to the, but I like it in a cushion form because it's it's a lot more travel friendly than this. This is the like bottle version. Like, come on now, you can just slide this in your purse. And with this one, you gotta like wrap it because you know you don't want because this is glass and you don't really want it to break. So I was super excited for that. The other thing that I was kind of excited for is the Elf Aqua Primer Mist. Now I was excited for this because it's just like the idea of a primer being in a spray, I mean, yeah, the um, Smashbox one, yeah, that's a primer and spray, but it's not very affordable. This one is a very affordable one, so I will tell you guys how this holds up. So far, it's holding up pretty good against this foundation, you know. I also have some oils on there, too, but still, it's going pretty good. So, what I have for you guys today is a sort of pinky, summery inspired makeup look, and I find this hilarious that I'm doing this because it's raining right now in Chicago. Summary. It's, it's very summery. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and let's so I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we will get right into the video. So guys, um um I set my face with the Elf Aqua Primer. The Elf Aqua Primer Mist. So now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be um applying this e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder and I looked it up and it says that you're just supposed to apply it. I've always wanted to try like applying a powder over my skin before I apply a foundation. I don't know. We're about to see how it works today. Um, so next, um, this is my favorite thing besides the primer water. The primer mist. This is my favorite thing to try, and this is the Lancome ooh, Lancome Tint Tint Idol Ultra Cushion Liquid Compact Long Wearing High Coverage Makeup Makeup. Yeah, this is their foundation. This is their cushion foundation, basically. So looks like this. I have it in the shade, it has a little Lancome, like a little flower, and I have it in the shade 550, so I'm going to open it. Comes with a cushion, comes with a mirror, so, you know, it's got the little cushion, that, I mean, not the cushion, it's got the little pad that you're supposed to do that with, and so, this is it, I haven't, like, pushed it to make the, make the product come out, so, I'm going to try it two ways. I'm going to try it with the cushion, I mean with the applicator, because I've seen a lot of people applying it with the applicator, and I'm also going to apply it with a brush that I have. And I'm pretty sure both ways, if I need to, to blend it out, I'm going to be using my beauty sponge. So, we're going to be testing that out. So, let's just push it. Oh. Yep. I see. I see it. Alright, so I'm just going to... So, oh wow, that's a great match. That's a great match to my skin. Okay, we're gonna see. I pushed in twice. We're gonna see if this can cover what I want it to cover. All right. A little 
red for me, personally. I would go, I wouldn't go this red. Alright. The little applicator that it comes with is a little... Okay, this just made my face look really dark. Like, I'm not actually this dark. But I'm most definitely not 550. I'm not 550. I'm not 550 anymore, at least. Because I used to be. But, um, my neck is blends. This foundation blends best with my neck. Like that. My neck. But my neck, not my chest. It's just, it's just crazy, okay? But I don't tan, I swear. So I'm just going to be... So this is the side... Then I applied with the little applicator. I feel like I have a lot left because I pushed it too much. I don't know. Um, so yeah. And now I'm going to apply it with a brush. The brush that I'm going to be using. I can grab it. So now I'm going to be applying it with a brush. And the brush I'm using is my tried and true Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So it doesn't take a lot. Oh. Oh, okay. So I feel like with the brush you get a little bit of a softer look. Like, look at... The brush gives it a softer look to me, and that's kind of what I like. But it is lightweight, like I can't feel it on my face. Ooh. A little bit goes a long way. That's the rule with this one. So, I think I might want to blend it out with my beauty blender. A little bit just to help it blend butter and blend, blend the letter okay then blend better into my foundation into my skin but it matches it matches what it needs to match which is not my face because my face is not tan like the rest of me does like it's 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 right now once I once I add like concealer and stuff So, I'm going to be trying to find a uh, foundation, a concealer that I haven't used in a while. This is the LA, LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa. Oh my god. I haven't used this in forever. I used to, like, like for school, I used to, like, glide this on. So, I'm going to apply this. This is the shade that I used to be. I used This used to fit me perfectly. And then, pancake. Band camp happened. Yes, I'm in band. I had a tragic. Um, not just band, but for the band, we went to Disney, and um, let's just say I got I got quite the color in Disney. I got quite the color. This is my Kat Von D powder. Beautiful. Beauty. Okay. I have dry skin, but I also have a white skin. I'm going to be applying our eyeshadow primer to prolong the effects of this eyeshadow. We do not want our eyeshadow to come off any time today. Like, we don't want it to slide off. We don't want it to anything. So you have to set everything. Because if it slides off, I'm going to just tell you it's not cute. I'm not going to talk, talk about any experience. I'm just going to tell you it's not cute. I'm going to tell you that I will not allow you to do that. doing my makeup right now. Who is that? We're gonna go find out. Okay. We're not gonna talk about what that was. It was my neighbor. Not sure what he was asking for. But it was my neighbor. I had a mind blown. So I'm gonna be taking my bare minerals eyeshadow in the shade cashmere. I think it literally matches my eyeball. I'm just gonna be applying it all over our lid. This helps all of our shadows blend out in the end. 
Oh, I put too much. Oh my god. I put too much. I saw Starbucks. It's cool. <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm doing a nice kind of like basic springy look. And this palette kind of has a lot of that. Just a simple look, like a springy look. Springy, because that's a word. Um, so I'm going to be taking this color right here. Ooh, my Morphe E23. Taking it. Dip it. Dip it again. Draw it around. Ooh. Um, just popping it. In my crease. Okay, we're gonna work with it. I guess this is gonna get us give us some depth. I don't know, we're gonna roll with the flow. So I got this brush in my Ipsy by Luxie. It's called the Mini Round. One for Luxie 141. And I'm gonna be taking Probably should have taken that color on my brush. We're gonna be mixing palettes today. I'm gonna pick up my Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette, Gorgeousness, um, and I'm gonna be taking Smoke Shell right here. The only thing I don't like, it's so pretty, but for filming it sucks because you're trying to show the shadow and it's like reflecting and it's just, it's just, it's just like. I wanted to use some springy kind of palettes. But I'll pop this in my crease. Just in the crease. I did a really cool, like, hollow, like, I'm in a hollow, halo eye tutorial. And none of the footage, like, it keeps, it's just not, it, I don't know what I did. I think I did something, but. So we're just gonna keep this in the outer view. But, um,. I don't know what I did, and it's kind of bothering me because I thought that look look and the look looks so good. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'll be honest, it looked great. But I cannot edit it. Like all I have is the beginning. And it's not even me like putting all of the eyeshadows on and stuff. It's just I was just so freaking mad. Alright, I'm gonna blend this out with my Vasani brush. Don't know where this came from either. This is where I got it from too. Ipsy. Okay, this is the Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow Brush, I guess. I guess that's what we're gonna call it. This was supposed to be just like a really simple, like, soft look. <laughs> and I'm looking at what's escalating. Yeah, this is none of the above. Um, I kind of think, I want to do a pink blush. But I don't know which pink I want to use. Okay. I know that I'm going in here for my inner corner, so let me close that. I'm gonna be taking this color right here from my e.l.f. palette, this one right here. Super pretty, pinky, cully, cully. Okay. Let's drag it. We're gonna pop this only on the inner corner. So the spot we haven't touched yet, basically. This eye look was supposed to be like super simple. What did I do? What did I do? I do this all the time. I'm like, I'm like, I'll do a simple look and then I end up like looking like a drag queen in the end. But I don't like a drag queen. Drag queens look awesome. They just they slay my life. Um I'm gonna be taking this gray. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be taking this color right here. Just a nice mauve tone, just to blend everything out. There we go. Yes. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. So next, I'm taking the Pacifica Pacific eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be taking the first one right here, and I'm going to be applying this on my inner corner. 
Alright, this doesn't come with a mirror, so I need a mirror. I was using my alpha, but not anymore. Alright. Ooh. Wow. That is a inner corner pop. I like that. Gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner because it's the only liner found that I kind of like. I haven't used it in a while, and the, the tip, the tip, I can't show you how I'm gonna do this because I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to. Okay, 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 oh. Taking that same powder brush that I used in the beginning, I'm be taking my MAC Trip Delight Starlight Powder blend everything it looks like such a like oh my god like that's not gonna work but it's just a gold such a golden powder that it just works on my skin tone so I'm just gonna dust away this powder using that yes yes I love it when things work out makeup wise I've had some okay I hope I don't like mess up my eyeliner because I've done that before like I'll be done with the look and I'll be like, oh my god, it looks so nice. Spoke too soon. I want to get messed up by none other than yours truly. Let me take that same Luxie brush. What color did I use? And that same brush. I'm, I'm taking Smoke Shell from the Tarte palette again and just running this underneath my lash line. This is hard for you, me to show you guys, but I'm doing it, okay? Just trust me. Trust and believe in me. Cause my what my lash line is like so naked right now. So I got this eyeliner in my Ipsy bag by Pixie. It's called the Endless Silky Eye Pen. So silky that it broke while I was swatching it. But I don't think it'll break on my eye because it broke on my hand. Like and I pushed it back together. That's how silky it is. So. Alright, I'm just gonna try to pop this on my waterline. I'm gonna try. I don't really wanna hurt myself. Okay, it's pretty. See, I thought it would go. I don't know, it looks nice. Uh oh. So I'm gonna be taking this. Oh my god. Something Miss Glam. I'm gonna take this contour color. Yes, this is from the Tarte Tardiest Contour Palette. This is the one that they did makeup by Shayla. Honestly, I didn't think it was gonna work out because I'm a lot darker than makeup by Shayla. But they did. They did it. A lot of companies struggle with making contour shades for dark skin girls. They just skip over us. I'm gonna mention one in a second. But hey, take it back. Yeah, I can actually. Now people are like, you can't get mad. Yes, I can. What am I supposed to slim down this fat face with? Nothing? But one company. Okay, so Elf makes this like contour stick. That's fantastic. I think it's just called like a shade and light stick or something like that. I have it. It's really good. I have it in deep. I was trying to order another one, but I think it was sold out. 
Coastal Sense Pro Eyeshadow Brush, BT Dubs. Um, and whatever company, Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek makes a great, fantastic, um, Their contour colors are dark enough. Um, so next, I'm gonna be taking this blush from this e.l.f. like blush and bronze palette. I thought this bronzer would be dark enough for me. I should show it to you guys too. That's how it looks. That's not okay. That's actually wrong. Let me just switch it. It's so. It literally feels like putty. That's so amazing. It's so, it's so smooth. But look at this. That's not dark enough for me. Like, just a little. Could have been a little bit better. It's raining. And I'm filming. Oh my god. It's hilarious. So, but I'm going to take the blush. The blush is really pretty. And I love the formula. Like, it's just so freaking smooth. Trying to go in with the light hand, trying to work it up. There's no problem with doing that. It's, it's getting there. I don't want it to be like, I don't want my cheeks to be like pink, you know? So for highlighter, we're gonna be taking, this is the e.l.f. I know, I'm using a lot of e.l.f. in this video. No, but I love e.l.f. Like, I can't even lie. Um, this is the e.l.f. Highlighter in the color blush, the shade blush gems. I have never. Like, you know, everyone's like scrape the top. I, I should probably do that because it literally like. All right, all right. So we're scraping. I'm scraping it. I have, I have scraped. Oh my god, it's so pigmented though. All right, and I'm gonna try this really quickly. Let's see if it anything picks up on my breath. Jesus, this is so pigmented. Alright, it is now. I'm going for the pinky vibe. Summer. I can't help it. There you go. So, for my lips, I'm going to be taking my MAC lip liner. This has been through God knows what. In Chestnut. I was, I was going like this. Yeah. 